I recently read this article at CNBC website that says Vietnam will see the sharpest increase in wealth growth over the next decade. Vietnam is developing rapidly and most of the population is benefiting. These are great news for locals who are working hard to earn a living. They definitely deserve a better quality of life. But what does it mean for foreigners? Right now, Vietnam is one of the best countries to live as a foreigner, price quality ratio. And for many people, it's the most affordable without sacrificing the quality of life. And I bet for many, they actually have a much better one in a city like the name. But as the economy grows, it must become less affordable to be here. That's just what happens in every country out there. So I would say right now is the best time to come. And let me prove this to you. I will show you prices for eating out, rent, transportation prices, things to do for fun. And you'll be surprised how many things here in Danang you can enjoy completely for free. If you're new here, I'm Olga. I am living abroad for seven years now, and me and my husband Rene spent a year in Turkey and now in Danang for another year. So let's see what kind of money we are spending here on a daily basis. First, let's go and have breakfast. Uh, this place, it's really close to the beach and it's quite touristy, but still the prices here are quite low. I really like their banh mi sandwiches and it's traditional Vietnamese. And here they are only for 20 to 25 uh, thousand Vietnamese dong, which is under a dollar. And I've eaten here several times and as you can see, Usually the place is full and that's a good sign. That means that food is fresh here. People come here often. And the staff, they speak a little bit of English. You can even ask for food to be not spicy. You can ask them for different kinds of fillings. I ordered a coconut and the banh mi. And the one I'm having, it's not the most photogenic, but trust me, it's delicious. And here is how other sandwiches like this so can look like. They can have meat, they can have eggs, all kinds of vegetables and greens. Overall, everyone who's ever been to Vietnam, they do get addicted to this one and they keep coming back for more. We ourselves eat them a lot. And my breakfast here was uh, 25,000 for a sandwich and 25,000 for a coconut drink. So for breakfast, I paid uh, under $2. Next stop is coffee and Vietnam is famous for its coffee. There is a coffee shop on every corner. For example, like this one, uh, I interviewed the owner actually for last week's video. She opened it less than a year ago and already I see quite some customers. And it's a really cool space and their coffee is good. And I would say overall in Da Nang you can find uh, cute coffee shops and they almost all of them serve really good coffee. The price in a coffee shop like this would be around 40 to 50 Vietnamese dong, sometimes more expensive, which is still under $2. And there are coffee shops that are even more expensive and there the coffees would be for 2 to $4. But in a local place, you can even get it for a dollar. But be prepared that uh, locals like their coffee sweet, so usually it has either a lot of sugar or condensed milk. And if you want a more western type of coffee like latte or cappuccino, then you have to go to a place that's a bit more expensive and will have it for 40 to 50 thousand Vietnamese don a cup. I also encourage you to try all kinds of Vietnamese coffee. They serve coconut coffee, avocado coffee, salted coffee. You really have so many choices here, it's hard to choose just one. In the coffee shops themselves, you can find a more old style, old school coffee shop or a more hipster and modern one. Some of them have really beautiful gardens with uh, lots of uh, trees and bushes and sometimes animals. If you want to go to a co-working space, it would cost you around $5 a day. And sometimes the drink is already included, sometimes it's not. There are also coffee shops with uh, really pretty desserts. And if you have a sweet tooth, I can say that in Vietnam you will be treated very well. Also, the new kind of coffee shops pop up that have dedicated uh, zone for uh, photo sessions. So you basically only pay for a drink that is slightly pricier than average and you can take as many pictures as you want. Coming to the name and want to know all the best spots to eat, where to stay, rent a bike, go shopping and exchange the money? Get my guide where I'm sharing top 5 in every category and my own personal Google Maps list with almost 700 locations all over Vietnam and Da Nang already pinned. 
You will also get information on when is the best time to come to avoid heavy rains and how to get a visa. To make sure you will find everything you might need, I am also giving you access to my own private Q&A chat where you can ask me follow-up questions and connect to other like-minded travelers. Right now there are still spots available at the lowest price and you will find the link in the description. If you don't want the Vietnamese breakfast, you can have a more Western one, like a fruit smoothie, and uh, this one is a place that's also vegan. For a smoothie there, you pay on average 70,000 Vietnamese dong, so that's uh, under $3. And a vegan meal there would cost about $5. And now to our more pricier breakfast option, and we do like it for a weekend to come here and enjoy the seaside. It's right on the beach. And the Western breakfast here is quite good. It's eggs, potatoes, some vegetables and fruits. On average for a breakfast like this, you pay 200,000 Vietnamese dong for a person, which is uh, under $8. And for us too, with the drinks, either coffees or coconut drinks, we pay around $20. And of course, I would say that it is such a privilege to just be able on your weekend, come to this place and for $10 a person you can have uh, the nice breakfast and a view like this. During the low season especially there are not so many people but uh, in high season uh, you can find it packed. Once we were walking around with friends and looking to have lunch somewhere in the city and we found this local place that was so full there was almost no space to sit. And the meals there were really affordable. They were 40 to 60,000 Vietnamese dong, which is about two to three dollars a meal. And even one of the staff, he spoke English and was really eager to help. So I remember that for four of us, we spent, I think, under $10. This is another option for lunch. It is more hipster, I would say. And a bowl like this, this is a rice bowl. It can be with chicken, it can be with tofu, vegetarian option, basically with any filling that you would want. And on average, it costs uh, from 100,000 Vietnamese dong to 150,000, which is from four to six dollars. And I must confess that during this year, we had quite some bowls over there. They are really tasty. But they don't have just the bowls, they also have uh, all kinds of Western food like eggs uh, on toast and pastas and some other dishes. And all of them are under six or eight dollars. For dinner, let me show you first the more pricier Western options. For example, here Rene had a steak and well, I do remember that he said it's not the best steak he ever ate, but it was still quite good and he paid around 150,000 Vietnamese dong for this meal, which is $6. And uh, in that evening for us too, without alcohol, we paid 250,000 Vietnamese dong, which is $10. And that I would consider uh, on a pricier side. Not the most expensive, but not the cheapest as well. And when we want to go out for a dinner date or to celebrate something, we like to go to this pizza place. And the best part of it is that you can sit right next to the cooks and see how they are making pizzas. And if you want to sit by the window, they have a river view. So it's a really nice place and their pizzas are, in our opinion, they are just the best in town. But they are on the pricier side. And for dinner, without alcohol, we would pay about $20. If you want alcohol, I would say it is another $20. And when it comes to alcohol, local beers are really inexpensive. They can be $1 or $2, depending on the place. But if you're a wine lover, for example, that can be quite pricey. It can be 4 to $6 just for one glass. And that's the cheaper ones. So, in general, uh, Vietnam is a beer country, not a wine country. And again, I would say it's a privilege to be able to go out to such a nice place and to have such nice food for uh, just $20 for a couple. Another good option, uh, if you want Mediterranean food, you go to Mikasa restaurant. They serve Spanish and Italian food. And I also did an interview recently with the owner. He's been here with his wife for 10 years. So a dinner there, I would say, again, under $20 a couple. Da Nang is also quite popular with Korean tourists, so naturally there will be many Korean restaurants. And once we went to a Korean BBQ with a couple of our Korean friends, 
How you go there is you order meat that you want and uh, everything else comes on the site uh, included in the price. That night we didn't order the most expensive meat, so I think we spent about under $10 a person there. But if you, some meats can be really pricey, so it really will depend on your taste. If you want to have dinner on the cheaper side, again you go for Vietnamese food, for noodles, for rice. And they can be quite delicious. And each meal would cost you only about 30 to 60 Vietnamese dong, depending on where are you eating or if you have delivery or not, because for delivery you pay an extra dollar. So local meal, I would say two to four dollars. You can even go to the market and there the food will be the cheapest. You can buy something for uh, just under a dollar. But personally, I would say sometimes hygienic standards can be much lower there. So I would be careful if you have any stomach problems. And now to meat price dinners, actually, this is what we eat most of the time. It is uh, Western food, something like, for example, shawarma. Shawarma like this would cost you 60,000 Vietnamese dong or with potatoes, it would cost 80, which is around $3. I would say for Western food place, it's really affordable. Or another time we went with friends for BBQ and it was a lot of meat. And we ordered uh, group portions, uh, one for women, one for men. So the men had it under $10 for three persons and uh, us women, we had it a bit cheaper, maybe $8 for three persons. Another safe option uh, to go for food is KFC. And there they have uh, meals with rice, which I personally like. And for a meal like this, it's rice, chicken and a salad and water. And for it, I paid 80,000 Vietnamese dong. And why I say it's safe is because uh, so far every KFC I've been to in the name is very clean and well maintained. Another more Western food option to have for chicken with potatoes like this, it was about $4. Or you can of course order food, this also was about $4. So in general, I would say we spent four to six dollars a meal, but of course, if you're on a tight budget, you can go as low as two dollars uh, for one meal. Now let's go shopping because I know that many people say that uh, eating out in Southeast Asia is cheaper than cooking yourself. And to that, I would completely agree, especially if you're eating out in local places. But I personally like to balance it out with uh, cooking at home uh, about 50% of the time. And in the name, you will find many small uh, corner shops where you can already find meat. But we also go, for example, around once a week to a big grocery shop and there are at least three of them in the name. And they have everything, all the fruit, all the vegetable, everything that you need. So for something like 40 cents, you can get yourself a dragon fruit. Half of a small watermelon will cost you about $1.6. You can find sandwich bread, which again would cost you something from one to two dollars. All kinds of desserts. Local favorites, uh, the flan, it will cost you only 10,000 Vietnamese dong, which is about 40 cents. And the baguette will cost you also only 10,000 Vietnamese dong. In the big supermarket, I like to buy flowers for the house. This one would cost me about one and a half dollar. Big package of rice will cost you 150,000 Vietnamese dong. 10 eggs for 30,000 Vietnamese dong, about 1.2 dollars. Milk is available for about 30,000 Vietnamese dong, which is 1.2 US dollars. And I do really recommend you pay attention if the milk is sweetened or not. Because if you're used to plain milk, you might be surprised that uh, sweetened is uh, very popular here in Vietnam. You turn uh, the package around and you see it says fresh milk, plain. If you're vegetarian, all kinds of soy milk is available. Of course, yogurt, and I personally like this one. It's plain, it's not sweetened. And it costs uh, about uh, 40,000 Vietnamese dong, which is $1.6. Sausages and all kinds of meat. Uh, the cheaper sausages might cost you about 40,000 Vietnamese dong. Again, 1.6, 1.7 US dollars. Salmon is on the pricier side. You can see here the prices for a kilo. 
steak of this size will cost you 120,000 Vietnamese dong, about $6. One of my favorites, soy sauce is less than a dollar. Frozen beef also can be quite pricey here, so the cheapest option is half a kilogram for 140,000, which is a bit less than $6. If you're a fan of kimchi, it's widely available here, about one and a half dollar for this package. Chicken is one of the cheapest meats that you can buy. So for example, the frozen filetto that we see here is uh, 85,000 Vietnamese dong for a kilo, a bit more than $3 a kilo. If you're a fan of chicken feet, you can have it here. And on uh, another floor, you will find shampoo. This one goes for about uh, five US dollars. In general, the shampoos and things for cleaning and things like that, they are quite often imported, so they are pricier here in Vietnam, but you can find local options that are cheaper. This is a very popular snack to take home as a souvenir. It's a coconut cracker. Foreign chocolate, this one is about $2. I like this local one, and it's also about $2. Package of spaghetti, a bit less than $2. Or you can opt out for a local Vietnamese soup for both. And the package can start at about 9,000 Vietnamese dong which is less than 40 cents. All kinds of sauces, and if you're a fan of this ketchup, it will cost you 30,000 Vietnamese dong, a bit more than a dollar. Cooking oil, a bit more than two dollars. Finest, under a dollar, and I must warn you, it will have a sweet taste. This is the common thing in Vietnam. Forty teas might be pricier here, so this one is almost three dollars, and this English one is almost five. But as I said before, Vietnam is famous for coffee, so even this one, the cheapest one, 63,000, it's under $3 for 340 gram of grounded coffee. It's very affordable in my opinion. And this is actually one of the things I do recommend taking with you as a souvenir. A pack of potato chips will cost you starting 10,000, 40 cents. But I like these Japanese ones and they are pricier and it's a bigger package, about 1.2 US dollars. Here we see they have a special section with things you can buy as a souvenir and you can find all kinds of house appliances and gifts in this shop as well. Clothes I personally wouldn't recommend buying here because they are quite expensive for local prices in malls like this. Cheese is one of the pricier things in Southeast Asia in general. For example, uh, this small package of Huda cheese will already cost you two to three dollars. And of course, uh, Vietnam is a city by the sea, so there is an abundance of all kinds of seafood and it's quite affordable. The cheapest fish you can even find for only 40,000 Vietnamese dong per kilo, but normally the price is closer to 100,000 as you can see. So from 1.6 to about $4 a kilo. And I do recommend shopping here for house appliances if you don't want to go to the hot and humid streets, to the street market. On the street market, you often also don't see the prices and here their prices are fixed. Even a helmet you can buy here, starting at $8 a helmet. Here is alcohol. Uh, you can see that beer you can buy for a price as low as 12,000 Vietnamese dong, which is about 50 cents only. But that's of course a can. If you want it in a bottle, it will be pricier. And as I said before, wines can be quite pricey. You can find some cheaper options like you can see here. It's under five to six dollars, which is really cheap for local prices. But don't expect it to be that great of a quality for that kind of price. Good wines, I would say that they would start at something like 15 US dollars a bottle. You can also find all kinds of uh, Korean drinks like soju. It will cost you about uh, two and a half US dollars for a bottle. It's an alternative to drinking wine. And strong drinks like vodka, for example, you can find relatively affordable. Of course, imported liquor will not come cheap. So you can see this one is already more than $10. It's about, I would say, $16. Foreign imported beers in a bottle will also be pricier than the local one and almost five times the local can of beer. So 2.2 US dollars for this one and even more expensive for something like $4, as you can see. 
So on that day, I didn't buy too much because my main goal was to film videos for you. But uh, I still spent about 500,000 on everything that I bought. And I must say that we usually shop in corner shops, so two, three times a day. And for the two of us, we spent almost all the time. It's about 500,000 Vietnamese dong, which is $20. And we buy meat and fresh fruit and vegetables, noodles. So we kind of have a balance of more Western food. Also the cheeses we buy. And we do buy local foods as well, like noodles and soy sauce and local vegetables. Every time we find that we spend around that amount of money. But if we go to a big supermarket, we can spend about a million to million and a half, which is 40, 50 dollars. But that would last us for about two weeks with sometimes going to a local shop as well. So if you're a single person, I would expect spending about 200,000 every time. We should make it about $8. But I would say again that we do cook ourselves about 50% of the time. An alternative to going to the shop is to go to the market. But personally, I must say I'm not a market person. I'm really bad at negotiating, at haggling. And at the market, there are almost always no price. So you have to ask for it. They have to show it to you on a calculator. And then you don't know if it's a fair price or not. So basically, I am always afraid to be treated as a tourist and given the tourist prices. And I understand that not everyone on the market will trick me like that. But it's just you never know if you'll be tricked or not. So for me, it's just easier to go to the shop and not worry about negotiating the prices. But overall, going to the market in Vietnam, I would say it's an experience on itself. And I do recommend doing it and supporting the local farmers. The supermarket can be located quite away from where we stay. So now let's take a taxi to go back home. And usually the taxi would cost us about 50 to 70,000 to get mostly anywhere in the city, which is about only two to three dollars. And a much more affordable way to go around town, especially if you're single, it's on a bike. And there are also bike taxis, and right now I am driving in one. And for most locations around town where I go, I spent only about starting maybe 15,000 Vietnamese dong to about 25, and I think 40 was the most expensive that uh, I had. And the price depends on the distance, of course. So most of the rides are under 60 cents, and quite a common I would spend something like a dollar, so up to two dollars to take this uh, bike ride. And I personally love them because this feeling of the warm wind in your face, it just gives you this feeling of freedom and I'm constantly pinching myself when I'm on a bike like this and driving by some popular attraction like this Dragon Bridge, for example. And I'm just going about my day, going from point A to point B and I get to sightsee, I get to be in this beautiful location. I think it's really a privilege. And there is also an option, of course, to rent your own bike. And for a day, it's about 120,000 Vietnamese dong for cheaper bikes. And for bigger ones, more expensive ones, it can go up to 200,000. So still, it's under $8 a day. And if you rent it monthly, it would cost you starting like 1.2 million to about two, two and a half million, depending on the bike. So still under $100 a month. And the fuel is also quite cheap. It can be like $10 a week or something like that. And if you're renting a bike, you have to be careful. You need to check all the damages, make a video, send it to the person you're renting it from. And in my guide, I do recommend a place where we rented a couple of times and had no problems. So when we lived further away from the city center, we did rent a bike for a month, but now we're living right in the hustle and bustle so uh, personally i don't see the need for a bike we do however rent it daily every now and then to go on a trip and there are so many locations around to the name where to go there are mountains there are waterfalls basically you can really enjoy your day and for a price of rental than less than ten dollars one thing that i would mention when renting your own bike remember that you cannot just park 
anywhere. You cannot just stop somewhere and you see a parking space and you park there. Of course, if you're in the mountains or somewhere inland, it is possible. But if you're in the city, most of the places, uh, they belong to the apartment that they are adjacent to. So if you park somewhere next to a building, probably you either have to pay someone to park there so they uh, take care of your bike, they watch out for it. Or you have to go to that coffee shop, to that restaurant where, uh, where you're parked. And if you're parking next to the beach, there are also dedicated uh, locations. And there you can spend something about 10,000 uh, Vietnamese dong, which is less than half a dollar. And then someone will watch over your bike. But you cannot just park without paying that money. So now let's talk about another essential thing. It's uh, hotel and apartment rent. And again, Da Nang is really great as it has a big variety of hotels and apartments and for a very affordable price. For example, if you're traveling on a budget, even for 10 US dollars for 250,000 Vietnamese dong, you can already rent your own room. And for the two of us to stay in a nice hotel on a high floor with a pool, we would pay something like 20, 25, maybe up to 30 dollars a night. If you want to have a better hotel with more amenities, maybe more space, maybe on a higher floor, then you might go to 30 to 50 US dollars for two people for a night. And if you want to stay on a beach in a high rise hotel, there you might go to 80 to 90 to maybe 100 dollars a night. I would say that uh, compared, say, to Europe or even to US, this is an extremely low price for a great hotel right on the beach. If you ever wanted to stay in a beach hotel, this is your chance. Now, what about if you're staying here longer for a month, two, three months? Uh, Vietnam is uh, really good uh, because here you can easily find an apartment to rent just for one month and then you will essentially be extending month by month. And smaller apartments, the low-rise, they quite often don't have the pool and they don't have the gym, but they will be also the most affordable. The price will start at 5 to 7 million a month, which is only 2 to 300 uh, US dollars a month. And usually it will be either a studio or a small one bedroom, but it will have all the essentials and it would be usually clean and nice. In low season, there can be mold problems thing to watch out for. There can be quite some issues as well. I mean, we moved six times during the year before we found an apartment we were satisfied with. And now we're here for six months without moving. And during that time, we saw quite some apartments and some of them were better than others. Some of them were pricier than others. And I would say if you're looking in a two bedroom, then you will be paying four to five hundred US dollars a month, plus around hundred to hundred fifty US dollars for the bills. It will depend on how much you use the AC. And there are basically two seasons in the name. One is really hot when you use the AC all the time and your bill goes up. And there is a low season where it's colder and you almost don't use the AC at all. Most of the apartments come with a washing machine, so you don't have to worry about that. It's a fully equipped kitchen, there will be this and that missing, but it's really affordable to buy things if you need them. There are quite some small things to watch out for, of course, and it does come with experience. And uh, of course, in some low rises, there is no pool, in others, there is a pool. And if you're renting in a high rise, there will for sure will be a pool on the top, but the price of that apartment will be a bit higher. So on the low end, I will summarize, so expect to pay around 3, 350, including with the bills, US dollars, and uh, mid range will be five to 600 a month. And on the higher end, you can spend up to a thousand if you want to live in a big complex with lots of amenities. Now let's buy a SIM card, and I personally don't recommend doing it at the airport, especially if you're gonna stay in Vietnam longer, because the SIM cards put at the airport might expire after a month, because basically they are not 
yours they are not in your name they are in some local person's name so i just got my sim card and for 200,000, i think it's quite a good deal still a year ago with a different provider i would pay 100,000 for unlimited internet but this year the prices are different and there is no unlimited plan as far as i know so we took care of all the basic things and now let's see what we can do for fun here in the name and we have here a one big shopping mall with a movie theater so for example you can go see a movie even in english and some of the movies uh, that are asian are actually have uh, english subtitles and you will be able to see it i asked the price for one of the movies that was in english miller's girl for 2350 and they quoted me 70,000, which is about three dollars and right next to the movie theater there are massage chairs and we do come here often and for only 20,000 Vietnamese dollars, less than a dollar, you get a 12 minute chair massage. Of course you can go to a salon and there for about 250 to about 500,000 depending on the salon you will get a, a real massage for an hour so it is about 10 to 20 US dollars. Let me know in the chat that comes with the guide if you need any recommendation. In the shopping mall there will be some brands that you might recognize, the western brands. And all over Southeast Asia the western brands are quite expensive. For example, if you want to buy clothes in a shop like this, it's a European shop. There the prices are often 50 to maybe even 100% more expensive than in Europe. But uh, if uh, your body size is closer to European and body measurements, if you're taller, if you're bigger, then the Western brands unfortunately will be your only option. And if you go to a local market, for example, there the clothes will be pretty cheap, but uh, the quality will also match the price, I must say. So after one or two washes, the clothes become not so good looking anymore, unfortunately. But there is also an option to have your clothes custom made. Uh, you can go to a good tailor in nearby town of Hoi An. It's also a really beautiful town to just visit. But there um, you can have your clothes custom made and they will offer you one of the available designs. And one item starts usually from 500, 700,000 Vietnamese dongs. There are many attractions and I have a separate video about it. But another thing that you can do for fun here is to visit the Asia Park. And the entrance, if you only want the wheel, will be 100,000 Vietnamese dong as of 2024. So that's $4. And if you want uh, other attractions, you will pay double from that. Another thing to do for fun, whether you're staying here for short term or long term, is to go to one of the beach resorts. And they have an option of uh, having a day pool pass. So basically you can use the pool and the amenities that come with the pool and of course the beach. And you're paying uh, not that much money compared to how much one night in that resort is costing you. So, for example, in one of the resorts we paid $250,000, $10 a person, and in another one it was double. But uh, the pro side of it is that uh, in the first resort you could use all of that money on, in, in the restaurant, and uh, in the resort where it was $500,000 we could use half. It doesn't get you much in the restaurants in those resorts, they are expensive and we ended up spending a bit more money in the restaurant. But I would say it was totally worth the price, we basically felt like we are on this luxurious holiday and we paid for it just 10 in one place and 20 for a person in another place, 20, 10 and 20 US dollars. So I would say if you want to have a luxury feeling and pay not that much, this is a perfect opportunity. And here we come to another another thing that we, you can do completely for free any day that you want here in the name is to enjoy the beach. But it's not just the swimming or surfing or sunbathing. The beach actually has a very long and well-maintained promenade, something that, for example, I don't see often in Thailand. I would say that's a huge bonus of living in the name. And of course, you can enjoy this promenade completely for free. And on the beach in the summer, they had uh, several festivals like this. 
it was fun to see and enjoy and they were completely free they were part of the promotional campaign for local brands and if you go away to the beach closer to the river there is also a relatively short promenade but it was very enjoyable when we lived in that neighborhood to have walks along the river as you can see it's also very well maintained and again completely free some of the attractions you can see for free for example uh, here i found a street with street art there was no entry fee And another really popular attraction is, of course, the Dragon Bridge. Every weekend it's a breathing fire in the evening and many people gather there to see it. In the summertime there was also a fireworks festival that you again could see completely for free. And I think it was every other weekend during the course of one or two months. So it wasn't just one evening that there were at least five different evenings when you could see it from different locations in the city. And returning to the beach, another thing that you can do in the evening for free is join a group like this. It's called Dork Dancing. Basically, it's something similar to ecstatic dance. People just enjoying themselves and completely letting go. The participation is free. Or you can play volleyball at the beach. Also, as I keep saying, it's free. You just need to gather your friends or go to a meetup, find new friends and go together and play on the beach. Another thing I see often is a meditation group on the beach. Again, the participation is free of charge. And sometimes for holidays or other special events, there will be a carnival like this. And what I personally find great about the name is that there are so many meetups. They are sometimes board games, sometimes just meetups for a chat or a beer. And of course, you have to buy a drink in the place where it's held. But the participation in the event itself is almost always free of charge. Another cool thing that we had recently in the name is the full moon on the beach. And again, it's something that you can enjoy without paying anything. That's a huge benefit and a privilege of living in a beach city like the name. So I think now is the perfect time to come to the name. It's really easy to set up your life here, whether you're here for a couple of months, you're a digital nomad or you want to stay here longer, or you want to retire. So far, it's really easy to stay here either on a tourist visa or start a business and get a two-year visa with that. But don't just take my word for how easy and affordable Denang is. I also made interviews with other foreigners living here and doing business, and you can check it out and hear from them what do they think about living in the